All right, guys, so I finally got my ECU back from Alloy Racing. It got hung up at Customs for about a week, so I haven't got to try it. I just installed it, so I bought the airbox spacer with it too. So I'm going to try it without the airbox spacer, and then put the airbox spacer in and try it and see what the difference is. So I heard it's a pretty good difference just by putting the airbox spacer in. I also got... All right, so that's the ECU in there. Uh, it's easy to take out if you never have one out. Just those two plugs. There's a little strap that goes over to hold it in there. It's real simple. Uh, Elbow Racing was really good. I called them. Uh, they told me what to do to ship it to them. And then they call you, ask you which exact tune you want, what you got done to your machine. Uh, so I got this airbox spacer from them too. Uh, it comes with the extra longer bolts, new seal. Uh, so I'll get this installed and let's see what happens. Okay, guys, I got the cover off here. Uh, it's a little tricky. It's kind of tight, everything in there. I mean, you could pull this plastic off the back, but I don't think, think it's necessary. So all you do is pull this cover off here, and then you'll take your the cover off the oil tank. <clears throat> and uh, don't mind the dirt. I didn't take everything apart last time I washed it. And then, as you can see, you can get up in there. Uh, you can kind of use the impact ratchet a little bit to get a few out, but pretty much you got to do it by hand. Uh, it's no big deal. So I got that off. Now what all the kit comes with is a bolt for the center of this. And it just kind of seals the hole. And then you use, it comes with a washer. And you just use the factory bolt that you took out to hold the filter in because you're spacing it out. So you're not gonna have nothing to hold that filter in there. The factory bolt's not gonna be long enough. So that's a good way of doing it, I think. Uh, so that part's in. And I was just showing you here, it's, if, you know, if you're wondering how to get all this apart, it's easy. Yeah, it's just 10 mil bolt and then Alba gives you all the new bolts I got over there But yeah, so I actually didn't know the center bolt was in there I was wondering why this cover wasn't coming off and then I realized it Has a center bolt. I can't really see it. So you just kind of got a feel for it up there And yeah, it's pretty simple. So I'll get her back together here and we're gonna try it out Okay guys, I finally got the spacer in here and uh, That is a son of a bitch to put in I would highly recommend taking this whole plastic piece out. It's probably a lot easier. I was going to, but then I have to take my windshield off. That would have been a couple hour process. So I put it in. The only thing is it's got these two rubber gaskets like I showed in each thing and I definitely pinched it, but factory, they don't even use the gasket in there. So I'm thinking this, the plastic seals it good enough. Uh, I've watched side-by-side -side blog guys have a video up putting one of all the spacers and it was aluminum. And it didn't even have any gaskets on it. So that slid in nice and easy, but you gotta be very careful trying to get this thing in without pinching those gaskets in there. Uh, the one on the, the spacer stayed in fine. It was the one on the cover that didn't stay in so good. Uh, but everything tightens up nice. You gotta make sure you tighten this thing and it basically just crimps together on both, both ends. So that's what gives it a seal, I think. So they put that extra little seal in there just, just to have it, just to be safe. Uh, I'm probably going to take this thing apart again here, everything, just to get at that airbox to make sure everything's sealed. I'm going to take it for a run, though, to see what, see what this thing does for a difference down the road. But yeah, unless you take this box out, this thing is not fun to get at. Those bolts aren't easy accessible. That's a horrible design by Yamaha, I'll tell you that much. But anyways, I got it in. Uh, so now I'm just going to put this cover back on, got everything else back together and take it for a ride. So we'll see how this thing does. Okay guys, I got this spacer, just took it for a ride. So I got the Albatune for my Trinity slip-on and their spacer. Now their airbox spacer. Uh, basically whatever tune they put in it uh, to match that pipe and then put their spacer in it. Uh, I just took it for a ride and it's a very noticeable difference so I, I'm going to say it's well worth the money and obviously there's no speed limiter on it. I had it going uh, 88 mile an hour and I let off because I ran out of road. Uh, I'll get a GoPro video but I was just going up the road so I'll get you a better video of this thing in action. I really noticed it first, second, third and fourth. It, it really revs out a lot quicker and then I also notice in fifth gear, if you're just cruising at, a, at say 60, 65 mile an hour and you hit it, it's got lots, seems like it's got a lot more mid-range is what I found with this so far. I took it through one field here, it's during the day so I don't need the cops after me today. But uh, 
Yeah, I'll get a video of this thing. I'm, I'm, so far, I'm going to say is a huge difference. Uh, just with that spacer and the tune on it. So here, I'll, and, uh, I'll give you a quick video of the, of the machine. Now, I pretty much got it where I want it. I'm not going to do anything else to it. I'm just going to add a rock for Fosgate radio. I'll get that in the next couple weeks, and then I'll be ready for this year. And like I said, I haven't rode this thing in the trails yet, just around here. I got it just before winter. Uh, so I did a lot of snowmobiling this year. I didn't really take this thing out much in the winter, plus we didn't have much snow around here. So I'll give you a quick video of everything I've done to it, and it's, it's basically ready, except the radio when I put it up, basically ready to go. Okay, so like I said, I got the Trinity exhaust. I now have the Spacer and Airbox, the Alba Racing Tune. I put the rear windshield on it. I got this from, I think it was uh, ATV Tires Canada, actually. They sell a lot of parts there. For, that was the best price I could find. A little cheaper in the States, but with our exchange right now and everything, it was cheaper to go with them. I got my light bar on there, 42 inch curved. Uh, these mounts I bought too, they're nice mounts actually, they're nice solid. Uh, they bolt on real easy. I ran my wiring up through the tubes here, I had to drill a little hole, no big deal, nice and keeps it nice and clean. Uh, the light bar came with these pods. I'm all about the more light the better on trails at night, I like to be able to see. Oh well, yeah, other than that I haven't really uh, done much, I got the mirror on it, half windshield, and yeah, the tune and everything. And yeah, so far this, uh, I'm very impressed with this tune. I, I tried it with just the tune before I put the spacer in it. And uh, I, I noticed the difference, plus there's no speed limiter. But once I put that airbox spacer, that made a big difference. I couldn't believe the difference, actually. So yeah, stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, check our page out on Facebook called 519 Crew. Uh, we always put videos and uh, pictures of all our trips. Uh, this thing's actually going to be at the Side by Side Blog Drag Race. I got the invite for their thing. Uh, I believe that's May 4th. I'll obviously be taking a lot of videos that day. Uh, there's going to be probably four or five with Springer Machines. Uh, this one's uh, S1000 RZR. So yeah, stay tuned. Uh, and yeah, definitely subscribe if you want to see more videos. Uh, I'll be doing a lot of riding now. The weather's changed. And also going to have videos up the dirt biking and everything like that. And uh, in this thing too, the FZ09. I'll get a few more GoPros of this thing in action this year. Just put a new back tire on it, a pilot. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. You'll see some more videos of this.